Good Spirits is a bar and bottle shop that just opened up in the West Town neighborhood. It's looking to redefine the approach to grabbing a drink with a selection of non-alcoholic beers, wines, and spirits. Here with more on In Good Spirits and how to make two cocktails mocktails for us, co-founder Hector Diaz. Welcome. Thank you so much for good being morning. here. Good morning. Thank you so much morning. for having In Good Spirits. Yeah. And... So many people are choosing to go a healthier route and, and, yeah. and either lower the amount of alcohol they're drinking or eliminate. And, and that's something you kind of confronted and decided to go that way, too. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. I think uh, between me and my partner, Adriana, um, we definitely reassessed our relationship with, with drinking alcohol. Uh, Adriana's been sober for almost three years now, and so it's been a really fun journey and, you know, kind of putting together our passion together. We decided to go full force with In Good Spirits, and it's been amazing so far. That's I know so cool. people tend to call it a mocktail, but is what is the new industry word, the new the new acceptable way of referring no, to No, yeah, that's shirts? a great question. I think mocktail is totally acceptable. Okay. Um, I think that's definitely... You know what's caught on and what people communicate to say that it's a non-alcoholic cocktail, uh -huh. uh, but we also just reference it as a non-alcoholic cocktail, right? The, the the word cocktail is just so synonymous in the yeah. beverage world, okay. uh, and we just want to say you know without the alcohol, non-alcoholic. So that's kind of the approach that we take as well. And, and the, okay. what you're going to be making us, we'll get started yes. here because it has multiple steps. It has multiple ingredients, like a, absolutely as a traditional cocktail. Yes, would. and I think that's so. Obviously, you see, we also you know you can go into a fridge, grab a beverage, sit down, hang out. Uh, but on weekends, we also have a robust uh, cocktail menu. So what I'm going to create for you all today is the first is a hibiscus margarita. So oh, okay. really, you know, creating the same elevated experience that you would with alcohol, just yep. none of the booze, right? Okay. Um, and so I'll start with that and then we'll transition into what's called a Wolford spritz. So um, if you were to be synonymous with the alcohol version, it would be an Aperol spritz. So you're going to okay. get that bittersweet um, kind of orange feeling as okay. well. Okay. So all of these you sell in the shop, right? All yes. of these. Uh, okay. You can so find everything here. And yeah, we have quite a robust, uh, we, you know, we get a mix. A lot of folks who are a little more familiar with the space come in and they're like, this is awesome, all the options. But then you also have folks who are less familiar with it who come in and they're like, I had no idea there was hundreds of options. Yeah. Uh, and they continue to grow by the day. So we want to, you know, really curate the space, provide high quality options and, uh, you know, make sure people come out and feel good about what they purchased. All right, let's get this yeah. hibiscus cool. margarita going. Yeah. So this is, uh, a hibiscus margarita. So the really the key ingredient in this is going to be the homemade hibiscus syrup. Oh, okay. Uh, so I'm going to use two ounces of uh, Bear Zero Proof, which is a take on non-alcoholic reposado tequila. Okay. Uh, really fun and unique. So I'm going to do since I'm going to make for both of you, uh, we'll do four ounces. Okay. So use one. I'm, I you know I'd like to see what this tastes like. Can I just use your cup? To yeah, taste absolutely. This? So here it's going to have a little built-in spice in it mm -hmm. um, and a little bit of cinnamon, but not too overwhelming. Mm -hmm. So you still get the agave flavor as well that comes through in it. Oh, spicy. It's got a little, it's got a little <laughs> spice to it. It is spicy. You should taste it. I'm going to taste the cocktail. Oh, we so we'll do an ounce pepper. of lime juice. Um, and like I said, it'll be uh, three quarters of an ounce of the hibiscus simple syrup. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to do an ounce and a half so we can create two. It, yeah. Yes. Oh, it is spicy. Is that mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we try. I mean, there's there's such a, a large amount of non-alcoholic spirits already in the market, and it's yeah. it's really fascinating. We constantly are tasting, evolving our flavor profile uh, to decide, you know, what we think is best to carry into the shop. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna put in one little jalapeno slice. Ooh, I like it. So it just created a little. Spicy. <laughs> I like spicy. So yeah. And then we shake. A little shake. Nothing too much. Mm -hmm. Um, and then the fun part too is. Dressing wanna, it up and making yeah. it really yes. pretty. I want to rim it. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do a little, rim it with a little lime okay. and a little tahini seasoning. Tajin. Yes. Let's do both. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Or our lipstick. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, we wanted to taste this yes. and right. see what it yeah, tastes yeah, like. Yeah, absolutely. Because do, do people actually just drink this on the rocks? They can if they want. I mean, I think it's it's totally optional. Yeah. Um, I, you know, I think in a cocktail is obviously the preferred way, right. mm -hmm. um, just to really get the full flavor and taste out of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but at the same time, we do tasting sometimes, and people try the liquids themselves on their own, right? And I think that's really important. Mm -hmm. All right. So. And do you guys do tastings? Like, you know, you can go to a wine shop and get tastings. So yeah. So our, our plan, since we've just been around for six we weeks, keep you working because yeah. yeah, we want to yeah, get yeah. To, to the. Uh, no doubt. Yeah. This looks fun. All right. Uh -huh. Get the color in. I think it's going to get a flower, too. I think it is, too. Like, yeah, we are. It's pretty. <laughs> and then I, I do want to top it with a little soda water. Okay. Just oh. to get a little fizz in there on top. Nothing oh, crazy. okay. So here we go, using all the piedra. What is it? 
Uh, it's called Agua de Piedra, uh -huh. uh, made in Mexico. Um, it's probably, I think, adjacent to kind of like a Topo Chico, oh, but yeah. okay. ah. just a little bit more fizz. Ooh, and it, it's, uh, this is probably where you guys can have a lot of fun when it's, it comes to the toppings. Yeah, oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we actually, this was uh, Adriana's idea. We started doing edible flowers. Mm. So these are actually Ooh. edible flowers. That's okay. smart. We wanted to try in and just kind of really create that elevated experience for consumers coming okay, in. Okay, we got just like a minute left, so you just keep you going through it. on the next right. one. So the next one, real quick, is the Wilfred Spritz. So the Wilfred Spritz, mm. I'm gonna do really quickly. Mm. Oh, I got a little messy here. That's Sorry right. about that. Mm. Just be careful. And so this is kind of like what I mentioned earlier, a take mm -hmm. on an Aperol Spritz. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you're gonna mm. get the citrusness come through, a little bittersweet. What it is is an aperitif, right? So an aperitif is right here. I've We're gonna had do some two of these ounces. Both alcohols before and did not like them. I no. like this. Okay. This one was yeah. that's really good to hear. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is a take on this is alcohol removed sparkling wine. Mm. Um, so you still get a lot of the complexity that you would from a sparkling wine with alcohol, just without any of it. So you want to do a generous about two ounce pour. Okay. And then we, just like a traditional apple spritz, we're gonna top it up with some soda water. Yeah. Like this. this is okay. fun. It is, it's good. All it's right. Like it's resulting without having to and deal with I, the after effects. <laughs> okay. And then I just want to garnish it with a nice little cute orange for oh, you. Oh, thank one you. One for Ooh. you. Oh, thank you, ma'am. Mm -hmm. And. And we One should. One for you. Thank you, sir. I, this is awesome <laughs> this, yeah, right so here. Thank you so much. That's we appreciate so good. that. So In Good Spirits is, as we mentioned, in mm. West Town. It's over on Ashland. You can see all the information there on um, their website, as well as their social media handles. They even gave you an uh, email address. Yeah. So that. send them an email. <laughs> Check them out. This Thank you delicious. so much. Thank this you is so really much. good. Yeah. I'm this flower, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, Sorry, give right. it a try.